Hi guys, today's recipe is called Masoor Thinga. It's an Assamese dish which is very refreshing, citrusy and pairs really well with rice. Let's get started. I've got some sea bass fillets which I'm going to pat dry and cut into about 2 inch size pieces. So I've prepped uh, about 4 fish fillets like that. Season with some salt and some turmeric and give it all a good mix. Next we are going to heat up some mustard oil in a pan and put the fish skin side down. So you want to fry the fish for about 2 minutes on the skin side to get that nice crispy skin and then flip over and fry for a minute. We are going to take it onto a paper towel to soak up the excess oil. Next we have a bottle gourd which I have peeled. I know it doesn't look appealing at the moment but when the curry is done you are just going to love it. So cut it into incised pieces and then put it into a blender and blend it coarse. Like this. Next on the same pan we are going to go in with some mustard seeds and some fenugreek seeds. Now you don't want to add too much of fenugreek seeds because it might make the curry bitter but you definitely want to add some so that it gives a nice flavor to the curry. Then add in your uh, blended bottle gourd. Mix it in and cook for about 3 minutes and then add in 2 chopped tomatoes. You need that nice tangy taste of the tomato in the curry. Mix it up and close the lid and cover for about 10 minutes until everything is nice and mushy. Take your spatula and push it all down to get that mushy consistency. Go in with 2 glasses of water, mix it up and cover and cook for another 5 minutes. Now when you see the water bubbling like this, it's time to add in your fish. Gently mix the fish in and let it soak up all the lovely sauce. Now take it off the stove and squeeze in one whole lemon. So the lemon is what gives this dish that lovely refreshing feel and if you cook the lemon it's going to lose its smell. So squeeze it in and don't cook any further. That's it, a masur tenga is ready to serve. Look at that plate. Enjoy!